ain't what you want. Project, project, this ain't what you want. This ain't what you want. Sissy in the block. I just wanna rock. I just wanna rock. I just wanna rock. Body out of ya. Yo, what's good YouTube? Sosa here and I'm back with another banger for y'all today. I got y'all with the drip tutorial of season 8. But if you've been sub to me for a minute, by the way, if you're not sub, go drop a sub for me. Cause we're here 12k and I love y'all so much. Y'all really made this my job. Like, I gotta love y'all. But what I'm trying to say is Season 8 just dropped, and I'm going to drop a dribble tutorial for y'all, because if you've been sub to me, you know that I've been dropping dribble tutorials, but I got a lot of DMs on Twitter, comments on my YouTube videos saying they don't really understand it. So I'm really, in this one, I'm really going to get into details, really going to explain it, slow-mo the move downs, like, I'm really going to get into it this time, you feel me? And I'm making this video, like, I already dropped a bunch of dribble tutorials, but I'm making this video to really get into detail, because I want, like, the reason I'm on YouTube is to help you become a better guard, you feel me? So... The only right thing I can do is really get into detail for y'all, so that's what I'm going to do today. So the first thing we're going to get into is going to be my six, you feel me? So for the dribble style you want to put on Michael Jordan, it's the best dribble style in the game. There's nothing that compares to it. For the signature size sub, you got to have Steve Francis. For the size sub escape package, you got to use Trey. Uh, you ain't yeah, got to use Trey Young, but Trey Young's the one I'll be using. Moving cross up, you got to use Kevin Durant. Trust me, this one is the fastest one. For the moving behind the bags, I use Pro. People use Demi a little, but I feel like Pro is, it just look better. I like, I like Pro. I'm getting used to this one. For the spins, you want to use Basic. For the movement hesitation, I got Kevin Durand on. For the, oh, hold on. That's a mistake. Hold on. I ain't supposed to have Kevin. I'm supposed to have Pro. For the movement hesitation, I got Pro. For the movement step, I got Normal. All right, so let me show the badges you're going to be needing. Um, My badges look like this real quick. I got Clan Breaker Hall of Fame. I got Handle for Days Gold. I got Quick First Step Hall of Fame. Needle Thread Bronze. Hobbit Drive, Hall of Fame, Bailout, Bronze, we got Killer Combos on Gold and Unpluggable on Hall of Fame. The most important badges here is Hobbit Drive, you want to have this on Gold or Hall of Fame because this takes out delay when you dribble. You want to put on Killer Combos, this just help you chain up and combo up better. Unpluggable, you don't want to get ripped. If you're in the stage, you know these locks got 99 still with a Hall of Fame glove, like you want to get Unpluggable on Hall of Fame. You want to need Quick First Steps to get the fastest speed boost. You want to get Handled for Days on Gold. So you can dribble without getting tired. Clan Breaker is just good. Like you don't need Hall of Fame Clan Breaker. Silver works just fine. But I got Hall of Fame Clan Breaker because I got the badges for you. You feel me? Show my settings real quick too. Because I know y'all been one of them. I use early shot timing in case y'all wanted that shit. Um, you want to use your Pro State function. You want to have this on default. You want to have Pro State Orientation. I'm Absolute. I'm gonna drop a full tutorial on that like y'all get it to a thousand likes so make sure you like the video if you want to learn how to dribble like this because that means i'm gonna drop the advanced one very soon I, I i'm gonna cook it up later today like i'm gonna edit it and all that so the moment the video hits a thousand likes that's why i'm dropping it so it's up to you guys how fast y'all want it feel me like so if you're new study this watch it to the end watch it multiple times you can't just watch it once and expect to learn everything sit down watch it once just Go through every step from the start like once you get a move move on to the next one don't move on before you get a move down you feel me like you want to get every single move down that i showed in this video all right so the first thing is just to learn how to speed boost out of moves it's the first thing i'm gonna show y'all and it's so simple all you do you hold turbo and you run hold turbo run feel me like that should not be hard to understand like you see that right there like the little stop and go all right the next move i got for y'all is this little one here right here you feel me like you can spam this one all you got to do is flick your right stick diagonal down to the opposite ball handle so you see the ball is in my right hand i'm gonna, I'm gonna flick it to the left ball is in my left hand i'm gonna flick it to the right and you can spam it the thing about this move is you can speed boost out of it so let's say you go like this boom so just put the run in that I just taught you in the beginning. Boom, boom. Let's say you're doing a little like this. Boom. Feel me? Next move I'm going to show is going to be the snatch back right here. You see this right here? All you do here is let's say your ball 
it don't matter what hand the ball is in all you gotta do is hold turbo flick your right stick up first and then the left stick down like you you want to do like just after each other you see that right there Just to add it, you feel me? Like you can do this and you can run out of it the same way I just told you how to speed boost, you feel me? Just hold it down and run. Next move I got for y'all is gonna be the craps. So there's the Steve Francis crap, which is this one. You feel me? Then there's Trey Young, which is this one. The way you do this, if you got the ball for the Steve Francis, you got your ball in your left hand, you just flick your right stick diagonal up to the opposite ball handle. So up here. Ball is in your right hand, flick the right stick diagonal up to the opposite ball handle again. So you flick it up left. And for the and for the Trey Young, you do the exact same, but you hold turbo. And with the Trey Young, if you if you do like back to back really fast like this, you can get this move right here, and it's good. Like I said, the defender is all up in your face, right? Comboing up. You hit him with this and you get in front of him. Crap. You feel me? All you do is literally flick to the one side and then flick to the other side real quick after. And you're going to get in front of him. So one more time. Flick your right stick to the left and then follow to the right right after the opposite. Like just flick it to different sides. You feel me? Like this. Can't really crap an AI, but y'all y'all get what I'm saying though. Like a real defender, you gonna get behind that. Alright, so the next move I got for y'all is gonna be the walk back, which is this right here. See that right there? The way you do the walk walk back is, let's say you're running up the court, right? The left stick, you wanna let go of everything, right? So you let go of everything, and you take the left stick. Let's say the ball is in your left hand, right? You want to hold it down like here. Diagonal down to the left. The ball is in your right hand. You want to hold it down. Diagonal down to the right. You're going to start, you're going to start like just walking back. You got to time it like there. See that right there? This is good like. So you're running into the paint. Walk back. Shoot. Next move I'm going to show is going to be the Steve Francis speed boost, which is this one. So you flick your right stick, ball is in your left hand, right stick goes diagonal up right, hold turbo, and then run to the left, I mean to the right. Ball is in your right hand, flick that the stick diagonal up left, and then run to the left. Do it one more time. Ball is in my right hand. Flick the right stick, diagonal up left, hold turbo, and then run left with the left stick. Alright, so the next move I'm gonna be showing you is gonna be the Trey Young speed boost. So y'all not remember the Trey Young crap? It's the same thing as the Steve Francis again. You do a Trey Young and you run. Trey Young crap, run out of it. Trey Young crap, run out of it. I'm not finna explain this one too, cause it's the exact same, you just hold turbo like the whole time. Ball is, alright, I'm gonna explain it real quick. Ball in the left hand, you flick it, the, the right stick, you wanna flick this to the right side, diagonal up, and you wanna run. So you just follow through with the left stick. You do the same animation with the left stick as you do with the right stick.
this is good like let's say you combo it up like that you feel me you can go like this all right so the next move i got for y'all it's gonna be the trey young and steve francis spam so you know how to do the trey young crap you know how to do the steve francis crap all you do is trey young steve francis trey young steve francis trey young steve francis trey young steve francis you feel me and when you spam it's gonna look like this You just gotta get the timing down, you feel me? So, to do this, hold R2, flick a right stick, diagonal up left if the ball is in your right hand, and then flick your right stick, diagonal up right if the ball is in your left hand, just with the, without, without R2, you feel me? So it's like this. So the next move I got for you is gonna be the misdirection behind the back. Just this one, like this, if you let the animation play out. Alright, so the way you do this, let's say the ball is in your right hand. Hold turbo, flick your right stick, diagonal down left, and the left stick diagonal down right. So it's like... So let's say the ball is in your left hand. You want to flick your right stick, hold turbo, flick right stick, diagonal down right. And the left stick that I go down left. Ball is in your right hand, you flick him like this side. Make sure you flick the right stick first all the time. The ball is in your left hand, you want to flick him this side while holding turbo. Alright, so for the misdirection in the front, you see this one right here. Let's say the ball is in your left hand, you hold turbo. You flick your right stick that angle up right and your left stick that angle up left. So like that. Wait. Like that, right? Ball is uh, let's say the ball is in your left hand. Now the right hand. You hold turbo, you flick your right stick that angle up left and the left stick that angle up right. So like that. And I just want to add in real quick, like, you do this, if you hold L2 after, you see that right there? Like this one up here, the one that's blinking. If you hold that after, you will get the spin right here. See what I'm saying? It's not really the most useful move, but it's fun to put in your combos, like you come on up. Sometimes you get a faster one, sometimes you get a slow one, like... Alright, uh, so the next move I got for y'all is gonna be the momentum. You see this one right here. This is an important move because you need this to make your combos look glitchy. Alright, uh, so the way you do momentum is you hold turbo and you flick your right stick up. You see this one right here? You flick your right stick up. And then with your left stick, you wanna flick it to the opposite ball handle diagonal up. So let's say the ball's in your right hand, you flick it left. Ball is in your left hand, you flick it right. So it's turbo, right stick like up, and then left stick diagonal up to the opposite ball handle. Then once you get it down slow, you can start spamming it. You gotta get it down slow first. Next thing I'm gonna teach you is how to do the tween the leg spam. This is actually super easy once you get it down. It might look hard, but once you get it down, it's so easy, I promise you. So the main move you're looking for in this move is gonna be this one right here. You see that right there? That right there. And the way you do this is, let's say, the ball is in your left hand is similar to momentum. Because the ball is in your left hand, you remember momentum, we hold R2, flick the right stick up, and the left stick diagonal up to the opposite ball handle, right? You want to do the same thing, but instead of flicking the right stick up, you just flick it to the side. So like that, right? So it goes between the legs. So ball is in your right hand, hold turbo, flick your right stick to the left. 
and your left stick goes diagonal up to the left so it's like that and if the ball is in your left hand you hold turbo you flick your right stick to the right and the left stick goes diagonal up right Uh, so the next move I'm going to be showing y'all is going to be this one right here. See that right there? It's so easy to do. And it's good because like, let's say you come down to the corner, right? They're going to expect the speed boost, you go to this side instead. Go to the other corner, expect the speed boost, go to that side. It's like a misdirection. Oh, it is a misdirection. Now what I like to do off it is like, Ara's, Ara's buds, he, he taught me how to, like, he, he put me on to like, you can fade off it like, Go like that and just straight fade because the defender is going to be caught off guard. And the way you do this, say the ball is in your left hand, you want to do a Steve Francis crap. You know that one right there. And then all you do is you hold your left stick to the side. To the opposite side. Like let's say the ball is in your left hand once you do it. So it's other here. Like, hold on, you're bumping me. I flick it to the right. So that means I got to hold the left stick to the left. So it's like. You don't need turbo or anything. All you do, right stick goes diagonal up to the opposite ball handle, left stick goes the opposite way. Ah, right, so the next move I got for y'all is gonna be the Aster slide, which is this. And it is so simple. You literally just run forward and flick your right stick down. So you go up, flick it down. Run up the court, flick it down. Run up the court, flick it down. Run up the court, flick it down. Feel me? And then I'm going to show you, I think it's called the dollar slide. I'm not sure, maybe I said that wrong. But it's like this. See that right there? Like you can crap your defender with that. Hold on. Like you see that move, this is good to crap on your defender. Because a lot of people, they play the Aster Slide now, right? So, normally you would crap him with an Aster Slide, but let's say like they, they know how to blitz it. Like that right there, that's going to get blitzed, you feel me? Because they're on the side of it. But with the with the Dollar Slide, like it's just so much faster, they don't get to react to it the same way. So that's why like with the Dollar Slide, they, just, they don't get to react to it the same way. I can't really crap the AI. It's so it's so hard to crap a yeah like they, they don't play it like that. But you see what I mean though, like you can go like this and then go like this in front of your defender and shoot. And the way you do this, let's say you're running up with the ball in your right hand, right? You wanna like holding your stick forward because you're running and you just flick it down to here and hold it. Like flick it diagonally down to the opposite ball handle. And you hold it. You gotta do it while running, so it's like see what I mean? Alright, so the next thing we're going to be going over is going to be the Steve Francis spam. You know, this one right here. And I see a lot of people struggling with this, but that's because they don't know the easy way to do it. And the way you do this, you do the Steve Francis crap. And then you hold your left stick diagonal down right. And you hold it down and you take your right stick and you just flick it up here. Like that. Just, just flick it. Until you get the, like, you got to find the rhythm. So it's like that. And the next one I'm going to show you is going to be between the leg spam. So it's the same as the Steve Francis spam, but you, instead of like spamming the Steve Francis, you spam it between the legs. You see that right there? And the way the way you do this is, is the same as the Steve Francis spam, but you just flick them instead of flicking the stick up, you flick it to the side. Feel me?
All right, so the next move we're gonna learn is gonna be the instant left right. So it's this one right here. You can do more stuff with it. Like let's say you go like this, right? You can like fake it like that. Like it's just broken. You need this in your bag for sure. So to do this move, you need to know how to do the normal speed boost, which is this. Any type of speed boost, to be honest. It don't matter what speed boost it is. Could be this one. You just gotta know how to do a speed boost. You gotta know how to do the Trey Young crap. Remember this one I told you in the beginning? Alright, so what you do is, you speed boost to one side, but you don't wanna run to the side, you feel me? Like, you go like this, you're gonna get this animation right here. When you're trying to do it, you're gonna get that one right there. Not, you, you gotta run a little bit up, you feel me? You can't just go left right with it like that. You wanna go a little bit up and then do it. See what I mean? So not to the side because you're gonna get this. But go a little bit up with it. And that's what you spam it too, like you go over here and you go over here, like you still wanna run up with it. So the way you do it is start off by just like you run up and you do a tray on crap. Like, like the same uh, move, so like you're running up the court, let's say like this, right? And you hold turbo while you're running, and then you flick your right stick up here to do the crap. So diagonal up to the opposite ball handle. Feel me? So once you speed boost up, hold this, hold it, hold the crap. Up, crap. Up, crap. Up, crap. Up, crap. But the thing is, like, you remember I told you how to speed boost out of a crap move, like out of the show on crap. So that's all you gotta do after. Run up the court, crap, speed boost. So you just never let go of the left stick. So the left stick goes from pointing. Like you just like you, you start off by pointing it to the diagonal up left and you like turn it to the right like that. That's the left stick. So you you speed boost up. I'm gonna slow it down for you. So the next move is gonna be the steady slide, which is this. All you do, run up the court, stand still, flick your right stick to the opposite side that the ball is in. So let's say the ball is in your left hand, you want to flick it to the right. The ball is in your right hand, you flick it to the left. And then you hold turbo and you run the same direction that you just flicked to. So I flick it to the right, I run to the right. I hold it down, like you want to turn it like that. See? Like that, right? You get some separation. Like, let's say you want to just move a little bit back. Go like that real quick. Go up here. Hold on, I gotta get back. Get over here. Give some more separation from him. You feel me? You can start comboing up again. And you can also spin out of it. Like this. Or like this. The way you do the spins, let's say you do it from this side. When you run backwards, you wanna like turn your stick from six o'clock to twelve o'clock. Does that make sense? Like, the, the, see this as a clock, right? This is six. This is twelve. Like that, you wanna turn it. I can't shoot for some reason. I can't move. There you go. So you see how I turn it like that? You get that one. Go to the other side. Same thing. Just want to turn it around. And then if you do this one, you can do this spin after. The basic spin. Some, I feel like everybody got this in their bag, right? I see everybody doing this spin. But if you don't know how to do the spin, let's say you're running up the court, all you got to do. Let's say your ball is in your right hand, you flick it from 6 to 12, again, you flick it the left side, 
If the ball is in your left hand, you flick it from six to twelve, but from the white from the right side. So it's like it's just whatever ball like I said, the ball is in your left hand, you go right side with the stick, the ball is in your right hand, you go left uh, side with the stick. So it's like this. Hold on, I messed up. Thing about like the basic spin right here, you can do it out of so many moves. So let's say you do a momentum and you spin out of it. See what I mean? Or you can do a crossover and spin out of it. Like you can basically spin out of like a lot of moves that makes you run forward. And then tap L2 after. Oh yeah, the slide. Let me teach you how to slide. So the slide is like this. You can go like this. You can speed boost out that way. Fake it this way. You can shoot off it. Like slide, you can put that into a lot of stuff. Like I say, momentum like that. See what I'm saying? Like the slide is just nice. It's a good thing to have in your bag. Let's say you run into the corner like this. Slide real quick. One more. Because it's going to make them stop. You feel me? You can just speed boost straight out of it. And let's say you're a player that does that a lot. You start catching on to it. Go to the other side. Behind the bag out of it. I mean L2. See that one right there? Just tap it. Let go of everything. Next thing I'm gonna show you is how to do the behind the back. Or like the explosive one. The way you do this, say the ball is in your right hand, you hold turbo, you flick your right stick diagonal down left, so down here, and the left stick goes diagonal up left. So it's like that. The sticks do that, right? While holding turbo. Ball is in your left hand, you flick your right stick diagonal down right, and the left stick goes diagonal up right. So like that. And then if you do it like really quick after each other, you can get this one. That one right there. You see that? I like I love using that because the set defender is all up in your face. Let's say you go like this. Boom and then boom. Because he's gonna be going to the left already. Because I'm going this way. He's gonna start running the way that I just went to. Then I'ma just instant snatch it back like that, you feel me? Boom. And then go into the paint. Or you can go like this, boom, and then you can like if you good at peaks, sometimes I'll be doing this. Go like this, boom, and then I run in front of him, and then he's gonna be behind me and I'm gonna shoot it, but it's hard on the AI again. Next move I'm gonna be showing you is gonna be this one. Good ways to use it, like let's say you combo it up, put it in right there. Say you wanna do a spin, go like that. So you want to speed boost out of it, go like that. You can also go to the other side like that. You can also just do a single one. Go like that. Boom, boom. So the way you do this, you do a tray on crap, the one I taught you in the beginning. Remember that one? And then after, like after the crap, you just flick, instead of flicking the stick diagonal up, you flick it to the side. So it's like, Diagonal up to the side. Diagonal up to the side. Diagonal up to the side. And I got y'all with the Sosa slide. We all know this one. If you don't didn't know, I made this move back in season two. Like it's kind of how I blew up. I ain't gonna lie. The way you do this move is you hold your left stick down for like one and a half second. Maybe just one. Should probably just one. Maybe, maybe not angle like, like half a second. Hold it down for half a second and you tap turbo. That's all you do. Hold it down for half a second till you see your player start moving backwards and you tap turbo. See what I mean? And it's just, it, this move is just tough. Like, let's say you combo it up. Boom, boom. Oh no, 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 I messed up. You just fade off it. Alright, so, so like, this video right here today, 
it was basically it was like a it was a warm up for the next tutorial I'ma drop. Get this video to a thousand likes and I'll drop a full combo tutorial. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like how to combo up like this. Hold on. I'm gonna drop a full tutorial on that. Like, y'all get it to a thousand likes. The moment it hits a thousand likes, I'm posting it. If you wanna learn how to combo up just like me. I know I know the reason why y'all watch my dribble tutorials is because you want to learn how to do this, right? But you can't you can't do all this before you get all the moves down I just showed you. Once you get every single move down that I just showed you, that's where you can start doing shit like this. So if you're new, study this, watch it to the end, watch it multiple times. You can't just watch it once and expect to learn everything. Sit down, watch it once, just go through every step from the start. Like, once you get a move, move on to the next one. Don't move on before you get a move down, you feel me? Like, you want to get every single move down that I showed in this video. So make sure you like the video if you want to learn how to dribble like this, because that means I'm going to drop the advanced one very soon. I, I, I'm going to cook it up later today, like I'm going to edit it and all that. So the moment the video hits a thousand likes, that's why I'm dropping it. So it's up to you guys how fast y'all want it, you feel me? Like... The faster y'all like the video, the faster we're gonna get this new. Like, this, it's not even gonna be called the advanced dribble tutorial, it's gonna be called the combo dribble tutorial. Like, this is strictly gonna be how to combo up from the start. Like, like I'm gonna give you presets like these right here. Feel me? Like, I'm gonna I'm show you how to put them together like this. I'm gonna show in slow motion, I'm gonna show everything, bro. What moves to do after each other. I promise y'all, I got y'all. Out anything else, I'm gonna see y'all in the next video. And let's hope that y'all get this to a thousand likes soon so I can drop this advanced one. Because I want to see y'all move just like this, you feel me?